as DJ. Yo, what's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where we are watching from and when you are across this video. It is your boy again, Geographic247. I welcome you once again to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to design a vegetable beadball banner using your smartphone and Big Lab as usual. And the mock-up will be done on Big Lab as well with perspective tones. I will show you how you can place the mock-up on the beadball so that it can be presentable. Alright guys, without wasting much of our time, if this is your first time of visiting this channel, please do where to click on that red button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, put it on all, so that you do not miss any of my updates whenever I post a new video. Alright guys, let's get started. First of all, we need to determine the image size. The weight is 5,500. That is for the width, where the height is 3000. That is the image size that we are going to use. Now, having done this, the next thing that we are going to do now is determine the background that we are going to use. Just go to your color. We are going to make use of gradients. Go to your gradients and then just go to, uh, click on the green. I have already set it already. That is how you make you see my own is set all right but let me show you how i achieve this background like this just click on the plus sign you see how i place my ruler so that is how i place on my, my ruler the left hand side i make it a little bit dark than the right hand side so you can do something like this possible haven't done that then mark it the next thing that i want to do now i want to bring out the resources just click on your plus sign from gallery then go wherever you pick up, uh, you kept your resources, then pick it from there. Note, the resources used, it will be dropped on the description. You can download and make use of it. Alright, the next thing that I want to do now is to rotate this a bit. Then increase the size of this. Then make it like this. Cool. haven't get this set like this lock it the next thing that i want to do now i want to bring out the vegetable then position it here let's reduce the size a bit just make it 60 60 should be okay always make it Let's make it 55. All right, having done that, let's lock it. The next thing that I want to do now, I want to bring out the next resource. There is a lift that I want to use. Then rotate it. Then place it at this edge like this. Now 
Now let's duplicate this. Then position it at the same place. Then take it in a bit. Cool. Then lock it. The next thing that we're going to do now, we're going to bring out our topography. Just go to your text. And then let's see how the Then mark it, then rotate it like this, just a bit. Let's give it a phone that is a phone that I use recently. I just want to make use of that same phone. That is the phone that I use. Oh, you can see this particular phone. You can use any one that pleases you. Then increase the size like this. The next thing that we're going to do now, just duplicate this. Then tap vegetable, LD vegetable. Then mark it as well. Then place it here. Now let's change the fonts to something else. That is the font that I want to use for this. Then let's bold this. Bold it like this. Then centralize this cool let's reduce the size a bit And bring it down like this let's position this one as well cool haven't done that the next thing that I want to do now let's duplicate this and then um let's just um, limit it weekend after then mark it then reduce the size let it be smaller a bit then place it under the vegetable like this Let's reduce the size again. Sorry. Then let's go to our shape. Then change the color to yellow. Now let's rotate this uh, like this as well. Then let it be under under the limited weekend after. Cool. Having done that, let's lock this so that it will not distract us. The next thing that I want to do now, I want to oh bring out a call icon. Where they can feel rich, where they can feel rich, us all right. Just go to your gallery, just bring out the phone icon, go wherever you kept it.
Now let's change the color to yellow as well. Then reduce the size. Then bring out your ruler. Position it at the same line with this vegetable. Make sure they are at the same alignment. Just position it here like this. Cool. Having done that, the next thing that we're going to do now, we're going to bring out um a test, a keyword that they can reach. Let's just say for delivery, just for delivery. Then let's give it a form. Then reduce the size a bit. Make it smaller. Cool. Having done that, duplicate it again, then bring out the phone number, depending on your country, right? Just tap the code of your country. Then mark it. Then, let's, we are going to change the color of this phone number to yellow as well. Change the color to yellow like this. Then let's increase the size a bit. Just make it like this. Then move it closer to the call icon. Cool. Haven't done that. Let's lock it. The next thing that we're going to do now, we're going to uh, bring that is a resource that I want to make use again. I want to make use of something like this, then crop it, then position, reduce the size, then position it here like this. Cool, lock it. Let's duplicate this again. Then go to your crop. Let's crop this particular one. Mark it. Just place it here like this. Cool. Haven't done that. Let's duplicate it again. Then rotate it like this. Place it at this edge, just make it to show a bit. Then lock, lock it. The next thing that we're going to do now, let's bring out the ship and then just turn the radius to 41. You can make it 40. 
depending on how you want it to be then reduce the size a bit like this then change the color to black make it more dark like this then move it bring it down here position it here like this then let's duplicate this uh, for delivery just duplicate it I don't want to use many phone I want to use the same phone that is why I'm duplicating it then let's just see order now order now then mark it then bring it down to this shape put it inside the shape then we are going to bold it just go to your B just bold it then let's increase the size a bit so that it can be bold people can see it clearly cool I have done that let's lock it there is a resource that I want to bring uh, I want to use an arrow just place it here like this cool then lock it as well the next thing that I want to do now I want to uh, bring out the logo then go to your erase we are going to erase the white color just erase color erase the white then change the color to yellow cool then reduce the size Having done that, let's lock it. The next thing that I want to do now, I want to bring out the ship. Go to your ship, then turn the radius to 100. Then change the color to yellow as well, and then reduce the size. Sorry, let's come back again. That is a mistake. Just turn the radius to 100. Then change the color to yellow, then reduce the size a bit. Then bring out your ruler, centralize it with the logo, let them be in the same line. Then position it here like this. Let's take it up a bit. Cool. Having done that, let's duplicate this order now i want to use the same phone just duplicate it then tap 50 percent save just bring out the percentage then save then mark it Position it inside. Now let's change the color to black. Cool. Haven't done that. The next thing that I'm going to do now, let's bring out the website icon so that they can feel rich through website as well reduce the size like this then bring it 
down here Then let's say www dot your website your website dot com then click OK then bring it here like this go to your B style let's remove the boldness cool as you can see we are done with the design already so this is how you can actually make a design of big bow banner the next thing that we are going to do now, remember the mock-up. We are going to do the mock-up on the same big zella using perspective tools. The next thing that we are going to do now, we need to save this to our gallery. Let's log this and then save the save as PNG. Cool. As you can see, it has been saved to our gallery already. The next thing that we're going to do now, let's hide all this. We are going to use the same uh, image size. Let's hide all these resources. Cool. Then let's leave the background like this then go to your um gallery wherever you keep your people right i have downloaded it already i will drop it on the um, video description you can download it from there that is the people that i want to use then increase the size Just make it 100 to 100. All right, then position it at the center. Then let's lock it. The next thing that we're going to do now, we're going to bring out the design that we just made. Just go to your Bigzel Lab. Of course, it should be in Bigzel Lab. That is the design that we just made, right? Let's mark it like this. Then position it here like this. The next thing that we're going to do now, The next thing that we're going to do now is we are going to make use of this particular tools, which is perspective uh, perspective tools. Then open it like this. Then use your hand to drag it like this. I hope you see what I'm doing. Just move this one like this. I have set the other side already, so I will just work on this side a bit. Just watch what I'm doing. Then take this in like this. Now let's mark it and check. Let's work on this again. Let's bring this down a bit. Cool. As you can see, this is how you can actually achieve this on Bigzilla. How you can do the mock-up on Bigboot. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share the video, like the video, and drop your reaction in the comment section. I will surely attend to you. God bless you all.